Hi everyone. In this video we're looking at how to delete and reinstall plugins. There are several methods to do this depending on how comfortable you are working at the server level. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. Let's look at deleting plugins first. The easiest method for deleting plugins is to first deactivate them and then delete them directly from the WordPress plugin page. This is accessed from the plugins link on the WordPress sidebar. All installed plugins are listed on this page. To delete a plugin, it must first be deactivated. When you click on the deactivate link, the plugin is deactivated and the background color changes from blue to white. Once it is deactivated, the delete link appears and then it can be deleted, which removes the plugin from your plugin folder on your server. On rare occasions, however, you might be in a situation where a third party plugin has caused an issue with WordPress and you can't get into WordPress to delete it. This is where you need to be comfortable using an FTP program like FileZilla or File Manager accessed through your hosting administrative interface, usually cPanel or Plesk. Let's quickly look at both. In my FTP program, I have connected to my server and navigated to the plugins folder. All plugins, whether they are required plugins, bundled premium plugins or free plugins from the WordPress plugin repository are installed into the wp-content slash plugins folder. So one very simple method for removing them is to simply select and delete the unwanted plugin folder from this directory. If a plugin has crashed WordPress, deleting it in this way will enable you to log back in. And as WordPress will then not be able to find the plugin, it will be removed from the plugins list. To learn more about how to use an FTP program, watch the How to Install Avada via FTP video linked in the description below. With File Manager, I need to be logged into my cPanel and then choose File Manager. Again, I need to navigate to the Plugins folder and delete the offending folder. To delete a folder, you select the folder and choose Delete from the top menu, or you can simply right click and choose Delete. You will get a confirmation dialog, and when you confirm that, the plugin folder is deleted. In an ideal world, deleting the plugin would be all that's needed, but some plugins do leave data and tables behind in WordPress. This is generally harmless enough, but it is clutter, so check if there's an option in the plugin to remove data on uninstall, or if you want a really clean database you might need to get techy. I've added a link to a very good article on removing plugins for more advanced users. Ok, so let's look at installing or reinstalling plugins. The method will depend where the plugin came from. If it was included in Avada, for example, regardless of whether it is a required plugin, a premium included plugin, or even just a recommended plugin, it can be installed or reinstalled from the Avada, Plugins and Add-ons page. Just click Install on the plugin you require, and it will be installed and activated with one click. For more information on this, watch the How to Manage the Required, Bundled and Recommended Plugins in Avada video, linked below. If the plugin is one available on the WordPress repository, Go to Plugins, Add New from the WordPress sidebar, and here you can search for the plugin and install it directly from this page. If I just search for Reset, I get a bunch of Reset plugins, and the one I want is right at the start here. To install it, I just need to click Install Now and wait for it to install. And then click Activate to activate the plugin. A final way to install or reinstall a plugin is to do it manually. Firstly, you would need to download the plugin zip file, whether from the WordPress repository, your Avada support account, or a commercial plugin website. For this example, I have downloaded a free plugin from the WordPress plugin repository. To upload the plugin via FTP, I first need to extract the plugin folder from it. I will just extract the folder to my desktop. Next, I need to navigate to the desktop on the left side in my FTP program and the WP Content Plugins folder on the right side, and drag the extracted folder across into there. If you prefer to use File Manager, log into your cPanel or Plesk, go to File Manager and navigate to the WP Content Plugins folder. Click on the Upload button to select your file, but this time you can simply upload the zip file to the Plugins folder. And then once it has uploaded, return to the directory. You might have to reload the directory to see the newly uploaded zip file, 
but once you do, you can extract the contents directly into the folder by right-clicking and choosing Extract. Once the files have been extracted, you can then delete the zip file off the server. In both cases, all we are doing is adding the plugin folder to the correct folder on our server, the WP Contents plugin folder. When you return to WordPress, the plugin will be detected, and to use it, you will have to first activate the plugin on the WordPress plugins page. Okay, this concludes our video on how to delete and reinstall plugins. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.